So I really like 2007 Bionicle. I think it's arguably one of the best years and seeing each of the characters sort of transform and get all these awesome new colors is really cool. But one set that really disappointed me was Hukimari. Now, Hukianika had a brand new color scheme as well, and I thought it was pretty cool on that set, but I would have loved to have seen a tan and dark orange version of that character. Unfortunately, we didn't get it, so I decided I'm just going to create my own muck. I'm going to make my own Hukimari, make him tan, make him dark orange, and I have him here for you today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, this is not Hukimari. This is not actually even my build. There's a member of my Discord server who makes the most adorable different builds. It is a really talented mockist as well by the name of Punk. You can find them on Instagram, and I will link them at the end of this video as well in the description. Anyway, this little creature here, I don't actually know the name of it. Someone coined the term Gedunkling, and I love it so much. The original version of it has black feet instead of the dark orange, and has the blue, well, dark blue, with the silver teeth on it. So it has kind of a Gedunka-like color scheme. And I was like, well, those pieces exist in Hookie's color from 2001, from 2003, so why not make it, <laughs> you know? I love this thing. There is a certain charm, in my opinion, to Bionicle as a whole. And it's something that I think Bionicle definitely lost over time. But thankfully, Lego as a company has sort of been leaning back on. Because turns out, people, adults, kids alike, really like campiness sometimes. Not all of the time. You can definitely go overboard with it. But like... You know, we've seen a lot of the different Lego movies, and they're not serious 100% of the time, but there's some humor inserted. There's some jokes and some unserious situations. The movies know it. The stories know it. And I think that Bionicle kind of suffered because later years didn't have a lot of that humor. It was all gritty, all about fighting, all about battles and this and that. And Okay, that's fine. That can, I can handle that for a couple of years. But it does get to be a little bit old after a while. So... When I see things that are created using clever building techniques, but also even subtle, simple things like this, this creator has also created this lovely little lizard build that I'm only remembering now. <laughs> I add, uh, yeah, so absolutely go check them out on Instagram. But suffice to say, I, I really adore that kind of stuff too. It's not to say that that's what every single set should be, because I feel like there's sort of a, a speciality to it, a, a, a something that needs to be realized in the sense of, ah, uh, how do I want to phrase it? You know, less is more. Let's keep it like that, right? So as, as cool as it is to see battles, as cool as it is to see funny little builds like this one here, I think when you kind of space them out, and work on other incredible builds, you, yeah, you, you, you turn yourself into something outside of being a mockist, right? And I really adore that because I love building techniques, but I love someone who can just sit back, you know, take a breath of fresh air and say, you know, no, I want to do something completely different, way out there, work with unorthodox pieces or do something silly for a change. You guys have seen it with my clam build that I featured on my Pohatu Nuva build, uh, which was just a silly little thing as well. And I've got something else coming in the future. Not going to spoil that right now. But little things like this are so much more important than I think people really give them credit for. Thankfully, it does seem like people are realizing this too, as I've seen more and more as time has gone on, uh, these incredible builds on Instagram and these same builders who I will then follow pumping out content that is just silly things, cute things, things that don't need to exist, but they went out of their way and built anyway, made out, maybe out of a, a, a thought, you know, a thought experiment or a one-time project. And someone who's brave enough i guess to get out of their own comfort zone to try and do something completely different like that mad respect you know because at the end of the day i think something like this if you were ever going to create like a viral creation this could be one you know that said it doesn't have to be and nothing about this is particularly special it's just cute 
It's done well, it's tasteful, it uses very easy and identifiable pieces. Anybody could build this, it's massable. You can do whatever you want with it and it's not serious at all. And I think it's it's better if you wanted to write your own story around a character like this being like the master of the universe or something, you know, some silly nonsense like that or super dangerous, you know, this, right? Uh, maybe it eats souls or what, just silly stuff because Duh. <laughs> Subvert expectations. Anyway, I, I don't know. The, the point of the video in general is just kind of trying to encourage you as a builder to sort of get out of your own way sometimes. You know, I think that there's something really special about experimentation and also doing something drastically different than what you've done before. It's hard to capture. And I think that's one of the most special things about it is it feels like something that you can do once in a blue moon, you know, as cool as something like this is, if you were to retread the same ground and do something completely different, but following the same kind of design aspect, it would, it would lose some of that, that charm, right? Because you are just kind of, again, retreading the same ground, but at the same time, if you try to go in a completely different direction, it's a, it's a fine line to walk. That's all I can say. So, yeah, I, I really love this little build here in general. And I'm super thankful that we got these feet here. Not only in this tan color, by the way, we actually got them in brown also from Hero Factory, the o Ogrim set. Is that what it's called? Anyway, and so you could even build this with a brown top and dark orange or all brown, I guess. We have brown eyes now, too. So, like, that would be weird. You could call it a chocolate gadunkling. I don't like this anymore. <laughs> but, yeah, so it's really silly stuff. But, um it's so special, and I, I, I think I, I really admire the group of people that I have been able to sort of gather in our little community over here on Discord because uh, it's lively. Now, you know, we've nearly doubled size, if not more so, since November, since the channel here started kind of taking off in its own right, you know, and it's not to say that we're some giant server or giant YouTube channel. We're still a little fish in a small pond or Big fish in a small, the opposite of that. <laughs> but of course, it's it's a special place to be and it's a special time to be there. And I'm just constantly reminded of it because I can't tell you how many times I log in where I just see something I that blows me away, just generally. So I would highly encourage you to check it out if you haven't done so already. The Discord, Instagram, and Patreon can all be found in the description below. I'm going to try to not plug those in every single video, of course. Uh, but you can also join the conversation in the comments below. And hey, make sure you're subscribed. Uh, again, I've mentioned <laughs> a handful of times already now. Um, it's February. It's still a very slow month. Don't just check out this channel, though. I also want to encourage you to check out other creators, other Bionicle creators specifically. I mentioned the Man Guy Project in a previous video, a fantastic little animated story that they're creating over there. So I highly encourage you to check them out as well. I, I can't think of more of them on the top of my head because I'm very bad at that. But just kind of fall down the rabbit hole of Bionicle creators. There's a lot of really good ones out there and several of them just do not have the recognition they deserve. But that's it for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.